Hey everybody, it's Pisces Moonbeam and welcome to Radco Tarot. For those of you who don't know me, I do post a lot on Rad's Facebook page, so please feel free to follow me over there. And welcome to this video. We are going to do a pick a pile video in regarding what is coming up for healing in your soul connection right now. So please go ahead and take a moment and stare at these crystal bracelets. Over here we have pile number one, Unikite, pile number two, Amazonite, and pile number three will be Moonstone. I am going to be using a bunch of different decks in this video, probably about five or six. One of these decks I created myself. It is called the Faded Love Oracle deck. And if you are interested in this deck and want to purchase it or want to view all 70 cards, the link will be on the bottom of the video at the description box. If you do purchase, I just want to let you know my email address will be there as well. Please send me an email with a proof of purchase because I will send you two videos. One is how to work with the deck using it by itself and combined with other oracle decks. And the other one is a general 70 card walkthrough explaining every card in detail and what it means. So with that said, let's get started. Once again, pile number one, Unikite. Number two, Amazonite. Number three, Moonstone. What is coming up for healing in your connection? And let's get some advice on that from Spirit and what we can do about it. So for those of you that picked pile number one, what is going on right now? I'm just going to move this out of the way so it's not in the frame. What's going on with you right now for healing? What is coming up? Comfort zone, south node clinging. Confusion, uncertainty, head games. Saturn, truth. Sorry about that. We're going to get one more. Gratitude. Okay, so let me just set this up here. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so basically there's a situation happening here where you're clinging to something from the past that feels so familiar and feels like you have to have it in order to be okay in this life. And this, in a way, is not only keeping you stuck, but it's keeping you really confused and bringing a lot of doubt and a lot of uncertainty into this life in the future. And it is causing you to ask yourself, what's the truth and what's reality? And this is also bringing in a lot of lessons because over here we have Saturn and truth. And Saturn is all about discipline. It's also about restrictions. But it it really does show you where your boundaries lie. Saturn is known as the biggest teacher out of every planet. And whenever Saturn steps in, if things are not going according to the universe's plan, Saturn will course correct you and it will show you the truth. So for a lot of you that picked this pile... You're clinging to something or someone from the past. It could be a behavior pattern. It could be a situation. It could be a person where you feel like, you know, not only is it familiar, what's familiar feels really good. So it might feel like you are going through this place in your life right now where not only are you searching for the truth, but you believe even though you're confused and going through this back and forth uncertainty, there is a part of you that believes that the situation from the past or person from the past is meant to be here and now present in your future. For some people watching this video, the person that you're thinking about from your past is causing you to feel confused because they are playing head games with you. And Saturn is trying to step in and show you the truth the most important thing right now is to stay grateful and remain in, in this gratitude, the, the final card here, because the more you can appreciate what you do have in the here and now, in the present, the more you will start to not only get more things that give you reasons to feel grateful, but show you the reality of what you do have, not what you want, not what you used to have, not potentially what's coming, but what you have in the here and now. And that is the ultimate truth because we have things in our head and we have things from the past, but the ultimate truth is what we have in the here and now. So let's get another message. What's the current energy around you right now? Air, Ace, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. 
dreams, messages from other realms. The first house, body. Sorry about the glare, guys. And boundaries. Okay, so it's really important that you use a lot of thought when you make decisions going into the future. It's very important that you take, because if you look at this here, we have the one card here that says head games, confusion, uncertainty, and air. And air is all about the mind. It's all about logic. It's all about thought. It's about ideas. And it seems like right now your mind has been fragmented and there are so many different ways that you could see yourself going about things and so many different ideas and it's very important that you listen to your dreams and that you pay attention to your dreams and not just what you see in your dreams but how you feel once you wake up they may be able to bring you some clarity it may not be the message in the dream or the dream itself that is the answer, but perhaps the way you feel. So for those of you that are very big on dreams, try and keep a dream journal by you so that when you wake up, you can write things down. But this is really affecting you. It's like, you know, you're possibly dreaming of this person. You're possibly coming up with new ideas and ways that you can make an old situation new again, because this is directly linked to the first house, which is the body. And the first house is all about identity. It's who we are. It's how we step out into the world and the first impression that we give off. So you might be rethinking not just the situation, but your identity completely and who you are and what your personal truth really is. And speaking of Saturn, Saturn has everything to do with boundaries. So it's important that you really take time to think about these boundaries that you have in place in regarding your identity and your self-worth and what you will and will not tolerate and what your personal truth is to you. Because it's okay to have to heal something from the past that you might be clinging to that's causing you a lot of uncertainty and confusion, but it's important to stay in your truth and to stay present in the here and now. And remember, your body is the most important thing. Your body is a temple. You cannot let anything mess with that. You really cannot. Because when you do, you get sick, either physically or, or mentally, and it's not fun. So the best way to protect yourself for self-preservation is to establish very clear and very healthy boundaries where you can shield yourself from anything that is negative or causing you head games or possibly pain in the future. And the thing with Saturn is Saturn does deliver the cold, hard truth. So for a lot of you, this is a very karmic situation where because the, the south node is the karma that we bring into this life from another life. So whatever you're stuck on from the past or is still lingering from the past that is not making you feel good, where you're finding it difficult to remain in a sense of gratitude and where you're finding it difficult to feel good in your body, you need to set your boundaries. It's okay to have your brain go off with these ideas and possible ways of making things work. And it's okay to, to dream and to think of other people or to even, you know, telepathically connect with them in your dreams. But it's important to remain in your body. How are you feeling? Are you feeling good? Because if you're not feeling good, you got to rethink your boundaries because that's how you protect this right here. And, and the, it all starts with the mind. It all begins and ends with the mind. So let's just get a couple of cards for the challenges right now what's the the biggest biggest challenge in regarding healing all of this action courage jupiter beginnings and acceptance sorry about that detachment from outcomes and inner peace so in order for you <laughs> So somebody, you got to make a move. You got to move on. You got to stop clinging and take action and find the courage within to move on. And Jupiter is all about expansion and good luck, but you have to accept things for what they are now and detach from any specific outcome that you're looking for in order for you to find inner peace, in order for your brain to stop going around and around. And let's see, let's get some cards, some messages from spirit. What can help you with this? To the sea, go with the flow. Saint Germain, karma releasing. Move beyond drama. Create your own path. Make room for good energy. So whatever this is that you're clinging to from the past that's causing head games, you got to face the truth, 
stay grateful for it all and release the karma and the way to release it is to focus on yourself the first house the body and how you are designing your life how you are coming off to other people as a reflection of how they can treat you so make sure to set your boundaries strong and in order to have these new beginnings you have to release the karma so any drama that's keeping you stuck from your past that you're clinging to let it go and clear your path and this will clear up and you can make room for some new energy and yes it does say gemini libra aquarius so some of you may be dealing with a gemini libra or an aquarius but this could also be the energy that you are in so for those of you that picked this pile i hoped it resonated with you and let's move on to pile number two so pile number two is amazonite so what is coming up for you for healing right now ace earth taurus virgo capricorn forgiveness so this is all about new real beginnings where hopefully you can forgive and kiss and make up and find the innocence and release trauma in order to plant new things and this is all destiny for you. This is all fate and destiny happening. That's creating all of this right now. This new shift, this new beginning. And this has to do with your deep desires. There are cycles in life. And sometimes we go through times where we're very hungry. And sometimes we go through times where we are very full and abundant. So just know there is a time to feed and there is a time to wait. But this is all about a new beginning that like would like to pop up or somebody is trying to manifest right here that is coming up for healing. And because it says Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Earth, Earth is all about consistency. This is very much like the Ace of Pentacles, whereas in the other pile, if you watched pile number one, it was the Ace of Air, which is about ideas and breakthroughs. This is about planting seeds that will be fruitful in times to, to come. And this has a lot to do with forgiveness. Before you can plant these seeds that will bring you what you want. You have to find a way to release trauma and forgive whoever has been hurting you and basically kiss and make up and bring that innocence back in that was once lost. And this is very much, like I said, connected. Yods in astrology are three planetary energies that come together in order to point to a certain direction, which we call the finger of God at times. And this is all about your destiny. And it has to deal with taming your desires and your hunger and knowing that there's times for certain things about cycles and there's times where things just aren't meant to be so this is quite interesting let's see how this is affecting you right now on a day-to-day -day level so we have masculine so this is definitely about another person could have a lot of masculine energy i don't like to use labels or sexes Emotional breakthrough, union growth, and bonding. So there is somebody who wants to connect or reconnect with you where they are having this breakthrough. Perhaps you could be having this breakthrough as well, which can bring on a strong emotional union where there is a bond that is either reconnected. I mean, how beautiful is that? Forgiveness followed by emotional breakthrough. I mean, that's just beautiful. Let's see what area of life this is affecting you most right now. The third house messages. So the third house is all about learning, speaking, and communication. It's all about how our mind, our lower mind, because it's ruled by Mercury, how it works. So people are, you and, and your person, it seems, are both sharing this energy where you're having this emotional breakthrough. But I really feel like the masculine, whoever the masculine is for you, is, is waking up where if you can have clear communication and speak with each other and not at each other, messages can flow back and forth, which can strengthen this bond, not just verbal, but really expressing how you feel in regards to messages. I'm sorry, really expressing how you feel in regards to your emotions when these messages come through. And let's see, let's get one more card. And you have to trust these messages. Sorry about the glare. You have to trust in your intuition. You have to trust in this bond that you have if this is something that you want to heal. If you want this new beginning where you want this ace of earth energy, that pentacles, that firm, stable energy that, you know, according to these cards as part of your destiny, you have to go through the, the, the cycle of forgiveness and finding a way to just let it go. 
you cannot expect to ever move forward with anybody without finding a way to forgive them. And in order to forgive you, once you do forgive, you do have a very strong emotional breakthrough that can actually strengthen your bond and does bring you closer. But unfortunately, you have to go through tough times first. But as long as you can keep the communication high where you're explaining yourself and there's trust between the two of you where you have that mutual respect, where you can express yourself clearly and honestly and openly to the other person and not feel like you're going to be rejected, then this can be an amazing way to jumpstart, kickstart, or reconnect this energy. But trust, trust in your feelings, trust in this person. If this person is showing you that they as well want to be a part of this forgiveness, even if they are not moving as quickly even if they are not communicating as quickly as you would like them to, they might have a hard time with communication. So give them time because they are having their emotional breakthrough. I really feel for those that pick this pile, this is really about the other person having their breakthrough and, and coming to a point where they might be ready, but they might just need a little bit longer in order to trust themselves and their emotions. They might be very scared of their emotions and have a hard time opening up about them. But trust in the process, especially if you're feeling this too. So let's get a couple of more cards on um, guidance going forward. Party external. Faith. Trust, prayer, belief. So here's the deal. This could be a third party situation where there's somebody involved with somebody else and you want this new beginning and this masculine is going through a very, very, very destined part in his life where he is starting to have these emotional breakthroughs and starting to see that he would rather, he or she would rather, you know, be with you. But there are external outside forces that are affecting this right now. This could be family members, this could be friends, this could be gossip, but this could also be a third party where this person is does really ha feel a strong emotional bond and union with you and where the communication is really, really strong with you and, and how they trust you, their trust in you is just unreal. And we have, you know, trust here again. So if there is a third party situation, you just have to do your best to, let this pass and then see if you can actually start to plant these new things because this could be getting in the way as well. So let's get a couple of guidance cards from Spirit on how to handle all of this going forward. So loyal heart. Right away I'm feeling like this person, whoever you're thinking about, is very faithful, very loyal to you, almost like a mirror image where, you know, you look at in the mirror and you sort of see a reflection of yourself staring back at you and there is a lot of devotion here and let's get a final card to go with that i'm not even going to try to pronounce the first the first name because i will mess it up soul expansion your consciousness is expanding you understand the connection between all things so wow this is really powerful so not only is your person starting to wake up and have these emotional breakthroughs but you are starting to see the loyalty that this person has to you and to your connection, even though there are outside circumstances that are affecting things right now. This person is waking up and this person does have faith and it's important for you to have faith going forward in the process. And you know what? A little bit of prayer won't hurt, but you know, it says right here, your consciousness is expanding you understand the connection between all things and here we, speaking of connections this is all very destined so as long as you can remain in the, trusting the process and trusting your intuition that the loyalty is here even though there are outside circumstances that could be affecting this relationship right now and it's important for you to have faith but what's coming up for healing is a lot of forgiveness a lot of communication where emotional breakthroughs happen and a lot of trust if you want to move forward but expand your soul with or without this person because you are seeing signs and you are starting to really understand the cycles of you know yes it, it's hunger it's hunger. It's a yearning, but we don't always get what we want when we want it. There is a time and place for everything. So if you can expand your soul and understand the reasoning behind everything, this will really help you with this process right now. 
if you can get really deep down within yourself and try to find compassion and forgiveness and understanding for your person and just wait out the hunger, you never know what can happen. So I hope that resonated with you guys. We're going to do the final pile, number three, Moonstone. So for those of you that pick Moonstone, what is coming up for healing right now in your connection? Epiphany Breakthrough. Romance, excitement, thrills, adventure, attraction. What area of life is this affecting you right now? The second house, owning. That's very interesting, you guys. And let's get one more. Peace. Okay, so... Somebody in this connection is having an epiphany and an, a breakthrough, an emotional breakthrough, a, a mental breakthrough. And it, in regards to healing, there either was or still is romance and excitement and thrills and adventure and attraction. But there's something going on in the second house here. And it could be strongly related to finances and owning assets, property, value, worth. That's what the second house is all about, but it also has to do with contracts between other people as well. So the romance that needs healing right now, even though there is an epiphany or somebody needs to find one if they haven't found one yet in order to heal this romance, is potentially being blocked right now because this person that you're thinking about has other things that they are focused on right now. They're focused on their work, their finances, perhaps setting themselves up establishedly. At the same time, the second house, because we have the word owning and it's about shared assets and shared property, this could be presenting itself in a sense as like whatever you might have had with this person, you it's coming up for healing because you both want to own it again. You both want to get it back because it will bring you a sense of peace. And if you cannot own it with this person you can remember your own self-worth the second house is all about worth and value so in regards to this epiphany regarding romance if somebody needs to have a breakthrough in order for them to be able to see the romance and heal it and right now they're just focused on material things and things that have nothing to do with romance whatsoever it's important for you to find peace with the situation and let this person just do what they have to do how is this affecting you right now in your current state of energy? Present, abundant, and gratitude. Express your feelings, communication, and compromise. Cancer, I feel. So this is very much about going... Well, I'm going to pull one more card, but this is very much about being in your emotions in a very reflective but at the same time expressive mode where it's not about denying your emotions it's about sitting in them it's about feeling them it's about allowing this epiphany and breakthrough to occur healing whatever might be hurting regarding romance if it is on hold or on on lockdown right now and really express your feelings whether it's writing it out whether it's sending an email or even writing a letter or an email that never gets sent and finding ways to compromise. Cancer is all about mothering and nurturing. It's about our self-esteem. It rules the moon and the moon is our shadow side. It's our feelings. It's how we cope with pain and stress. So you need to cope in, with your pain and your stress by sitting in it and be grateful for it because it is teaching you so many things about value and about what's important to own and what is not going to bring you peace and what will bring you a ton of peace later on down the road. So be very discerning and, and be very selective when you look at what you feel is worth value to you and see if it's just cheap thrills or a, a fleeting adventure, or if it actually has some substance, substance behind it to stick. And then you'll know if it will bring you peace or not. If you are Basically, because it's coming up for healing, you are not in a state of peace right now. Should you find this epiphany and understand the link to the romance here, 
and why it isn't working out or what the blockages are, you should find a sense of peace. But what's going on with you right now, you really need to sit in your feelings. It's okay to feel bad. It's okay to express yourself too. It's okay to share. But cancer is all about how we feel deep down inside behind closed doors. It is the deepest part of the chart, which means it's the most private part of the chart. And because it's about mothering and nurturing, I'm feeling very strongly the message is coming through is, you need to focus on yourself. You need to mother yourself. You need to nurture yourself as you have these emotional breakthroughs or as your person has these emotional breakthroughs. And it's important to communicate how you're feeling to this person, whether or not they will receive it or not. It's important for you to deal with these emotions. Do not run away from them so that you can heal them and work them through. See all the green on this card? This is about the heart chakra and healing it. So now I will pull that final card. Resistance. So don't resist it. L like, you know, like I said in, in a previous pile, we have cycles. There's time to push. There's time to stop. If something is flowing, do not resist how you feel. Somebody else might be resisting how they feel right now, which may be causing the blockage in regards to romance and could be they could be focused more on material instead of emotional, but it's so important for you right now. Do not resist how you feel. It's okay to let it out. It's okay to purge. So let's get a couple of final more cards for this message. What can help you right now in regards to healing? Detachment, cold. So that's a little, hold on one second. And karmic circle. Round and round, karmic ties, unfinished business. So if this person has not had their epiphany or their breakthrough and they're acting very detached and cold, it is, it's fine. It, it's very temporary because this is a karmic circle. The story is not over yet. This is something that's going around and around and it is a karmic tie that you have with this person. There is unfinished business and that has a lot to do with romance and, and owning. You might even have business dealings with this person this could be like a business slash love affair at the same time but whatever it is it's an unfinished tale where it's going around and around and it's very karmic so if they're acting detached right now and aloof just just let them because what goes around like a circle what goes around comes back around and it might be even though it's important for you to, to sit in your feelings and express yourself there's times to do this as well and when you've had enough detach from the situation detach from it because it's karmic and it's not going away anytime soon and let's get two more final cards so we got breathe which means you've basically done everything you can do and now it's up to the universe to work and and and, and let it take its course and we got life force Express your driving passion, sensual and sexual powers are increased. So the more you focus on yourself, the more you will let this karma play out naturally. And the more you will be able to understand your feelings and be able to express your driving passion in a way that makes you feel confident and sensual and sexual, regardless of what happens with this karmic partner and this karmic cycle right here, regardless if they have their epiphany or not, you will. And you will feel so much better from it if you can just go through the motions of sitting deep in your feels and then letting it go to the universe and knowing you've done everything you can do and that there is a much more stronger life force energy at work and at play here. So keep doing what you're doing. Express yourself through your tears, through your passions, through anything that makes you outwardly express how you feel because this will help purify you. This will help you get through this while your person deals with what it is that they have to do in order for them to find peace because they are not at peace right now. And until they can be at peace, their connection will have a very hard time moving forward and it will always go back to material things and not real true emotion underneath it all. So I hope these readings resonated with you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to send me an email if you have any questions. All of my information is below in the description box. Have a wonderful day. Bye.